Welcome back to another video. With the new MU Deck installer, emulation on the Steam Deck is easier than ever. Let's get started by switching over to desktop mode. Here in desktop mode, we're going to open a web browser and we're going to search in the search bar MU Deck. You can pull up your on screen keyboard by pressing the Steam button and X. Searching MU Deck will bring you to this site right here, emudeck.com. We're going to go up at the top where it says download and we're going to click download app. And you can see right here in our downloads folder, there's an emudeck desktop icon. You can drag that to the desktop if you want or you can leave it in your downloads folder. I'm going to leave it there for now. We're just going to double click and click execute. Continue. And then we're going to wait a few moments while it runs. Then after just a few moments, this window is going to come up. You can choose easy mode or custom mode. I recommend if you're new to emulation, especially on the Steam Deck, to go with easy mode. So that's what we're going to do here. And then it it's going to ask you where you want to store your ROMs. Um, you can pick your micro SD card, internal storage, or if you have um, an external uh, hard drive connected, you can click, choose that as well. So I'm gonna click my internal storage and we're gonna let this run. I've now completed the installation. I actually got stuck on a loading screen there. So I actually had to quit out of the installer and restart my Steam Deck and then launch the installer again and that seemed to solve the problem, but just something to keep in mind that that may happen. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and launch the Steam ROM Manager. Before we open the Steam ROM Manager, we're going to need to move our ROMs into the files that EmuDeck created. So depending on where you um, decided to put emu deck it, that's going to determine where it created this folder so i changed mine and put mine on my micro sd so down here on removable devices just click where it says primary and then you can see that there's this folder here that i created called emulation so we're going to click on that and then in there we're going to click on roms and in there, it's created a folder for each um, system that you can emulate. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to move, do a um, Wii U game. So we're going to scroll down. And there it is, Wii U. And then inside here is another ROMs folder. We're going to put our game in there. So I just went and created a duplicate window of the file manager. And here's my ROM over here. I'm just gonna drag that right into this new folder. And I'm gonna click move here. And then there you go, it's moving it over. Okay, now back in the Steam ROM manager, um, these the parsers over here are which of the emulators are going to appear in your Steam library. So if you want, you can just keep them all highlighted. But if you're only going to use a few emulators, it might be best to turn them off and then just select the ones that you're going to use so it's not too overwhelming. So I am using Wii U. So let's see here, we need this Nintendo Wii U, turn that one on, and that one on. And then once we do that, we'll go back up to the top, click preview, and generate app list. And then there is our Luigi game that we added to the, the 
ROM folder. So then we just need to click Save App List. And once it says done, we can go ahead and return back over to gaming mode. Back over in gaming mode, we're gonna find all our emulation games in the non-Steam category. So if we just scroll over, there is our game. 